Okay, guys, let's keep going. <laughs> Please, I'm so tired right now. Molly started to hide under the bed of Ruby's bed, and Ruby noticed that Molly was not a talkative kind of person, so she bends down and lied down and started to understand that she is scared. Hey, are you okay? Molly shook her head no. Ruby got concerned why she isn't okay. Well, wanna talk it out? Ruby held out her, hand, her own hand to let her know that she ain't no gonna bully her, so Molly held her hand and got, got her unstuck of the bed. And Ruby allowed her to sit on her lap, so she did, and they hugged each other. So, what's going on? Is something alright? Well, I'm M Molly. Aww, you got a cute name, cute voice, and a beautiful name. Thank you. What's your name? Well, my name is Ruby. Well, your name is cute, and your voice is too. She noticed a rapid toy. Okay, I just have to add what is he. About the rabbit toy. <laughs> you probably know who he is. He got, he, got, he got gray fur with a white stomach and with a small cute tail on his butt. Don't ask why I put this. I know he got a freaking tail. And two cute bunny tooth and split open mouth. And two googly crossed eyes with a cute pink nose with six whiskers. They're, they're each other's strings on his cheeks. Who is that scary looking bunny? Wait a second, I'm sorry, hold on. Alright, I fixed it. Okay, never mind. Okay, now we're done. Who is that scary looking bunny? This is Mr. Hop. Mr. Hop? Yep, he is my toy. You like that toy? Well, he looks creepy. Oh, I don't think he is. Well, that's creepy of you to say. But I'll respect you. Well, wanna introduce yourself? I guess. I'm Molly, well, you already know that I'm a singer. I'm a singer, but I'm scared to sing in front of everyone. And I'm a weirdo. And I get shy every time I meet new people. I just like meeting new people. I don't like meeting new people because who knows what they can be. Killers, rude, or mean bullies. Well, if... Well, what are you afraid of? Being forced to do things and being abandoned and being alone and having something that I'm scared of. Coming alive and coming after me. This ain't all true. This ain't true. I'm just liking, liking to make my own version of myself. I'm the, in the book. Which is not actually me. See, I like nudie. I... Well, flip. What I meant to say is I like meeting new people. I'm just actually scared of who, who it was and who it is. That's what I'm scared of. Ruby was sorry about what happened to her. Did you get, have a good past or bad? Well, I was born in nowhere. I was in a box, but I saw Molly. But I'm not allowed to call her by her real name because it's disrespectful because I'm her daughter. So you don't know your real parents. Molly shook her head no, but Ruby was still confused and curious about Molly. But she still wanted to become friends with her so she can finally be have a friend, not having a group of friends for talking and hanging over. It is okay if we became friends. Molly was very happy that she said that, so she gave her a nice big smile and hugged her. Yes, I would love to be friends with you. Ruby was happy and hugged her back, but Molly was calling her name to move in to the other house that she was going to live. So 
She grabbed Ruby's hands and ran out of the room, leaving Mr. Hop behind. Then the entity went out to the closet and possessed Mr. Hop and Mr. Mittens, leaving them with hatred. This is where you guys going to meet Mr. Mittens. Where you're not going to meet Mr. Mittens, where you already did. Leaving them with hatred before it was re time. While Ruby and Molly running downstairs for Molly to leave, so Esther said her goodbyes to Isaac and Molly and her friend, her child, and Ruby. Her, Ruby said her goodbyes to Molly, and they all went out to the house, and Jenna went back from work and opened the door, and Ruby was happy that Mom is back from work, so she ran up to her and gave her a hug. I miss you so much, Mom. Oh, I miss you too so much, Ruby. And Dad came back from the grocery store, and Jenna helped David out to put the groceries in the kitchen. While well, Ruby and Anna read their books, while well, Jenna called Ruby into the kitchen get her snack. So Ruby went out of the living room kitchen and went to the kitchen to grab her snack. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, dear. David want to lighten the mood. Hey, Ruby, give me those metal straws, okay? As well, Ruby was giving him the metal straws. What for? You'll see. He plays the counter as the drums and starts making beat that Ruby loves. So David and Ruby sing her favorite song as soon as Esther was getting weak and sick. She heard the voice. The voice. Esther. Huh? She looked at her hands and thinks she got blood on her hand. So she freaked out, but, her rem but she remembered the necklace can help the situation, but the necklace fades away. But she knew that she was hiding in the place this whole time. And she started to stare at the wall for an out one hour but ruby was still jamming so she ran out of the kitchen ran to the living room room and saw that esther is not feeling good so she ran to the kid live living room and went to back to the kitchen mom dad yes ruby nana doesn't look too good she looks like that she was sick or something they ran out of the kitchen and went to the living room and saw that esther was staring at the wall so david and asked Jenna to get her to the hospital, but Ruby tapped on Esther three times and asked her to snap out of it. Oh, hello, dear. What's wrong? Ruby was sad and cried, so she hugged Ruby. She hugged Esther. Don't worry, Ruby, dear. Nothing will go wrong, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, I hope, Nana. Esther wiped Ruby's tears and kissed her forehead, and Ruby went upstairs to go to her room. Esther looked at the necklace and it was still there. Oh, thank goodness it's still there. And out of Ruby's room, she grabbed the slingshot and pulled out pellets and shoot the slingshot at Mr. Huff for an hour at Molly's house. At Molly's house. Molly and her daughter was cleaning up her room to get it to squeaky clean. Do you like it, dear? Okay, guys, part 